there's something magical about buried treasure. In Ram, we're lucky to have some real buried treasure in the form of the Seton Down Hoard. 22,888 buried Roman coins. By far the biggest hoard ever found in Devon and the third biggest to have ever been found in Britain. On a cold winter day, November 2013, I got a call from the county archaeologist. He said a large Roman coin hoard had been found in East Devon. A few days earlier, a metal detectorist called Lawrence Edgerton, who'd been walking across these fields for about 20 years, got an extra loud beep on his detector. And that told him he'd found something interesting. He started to dig and found just a few Roman coins on the surface. Now, if they'd just been buried in a Devon field, these coins would have corroded away. Devon soils are very acidic and corrosive. Normally, Roman coins are just green blobs. You can see all the detail on the Seaton Down coins, and that's just because of the geology of the bank that they were buried in. So these coins are quite small. They're about the size of a modern penny, but they would have been the equivalent of about a pound in Roman money. You could have bought a loaf of bread with two of these, or a flagon of pretty poor quality wine. Good wine might cost you up to eight numai. The only thing that everyone across the empire used all the time was coinage. So if you wanted to get your political or propaganda message out there, put it on a coin. So there are coins that show there's a new capital city or the army will protect you. You need to get that propaganda message out there. For me, sometimes it's the things that we don't know that gives it real value. So it's the human story in this case. What were those one or two people doing when they crept out in the night to bury all those coins? Were they scared? Were they nervous? Were they excited? We won't know. But for me, that's the real value of the Seaton Down Hoard.